Hello, and thanks for watching this video on converting generic inquiries into reports. So in Acumatica, we've talked about generic inquiries and how powerful they can be. So if we go to our generic inquiry screen and we take a look, here's an AP vendor lookup. So this is the primary screen when you click on payables vendors. So it gives you a list of all the vendors and you can navigate into the vendor profiles. And one of the things that many customers like to do is to create reports out of these generic inquiries and use the tables and the relationships that are already set up. So in Acumatica, as of 2018, there's a new option, Export as Report. So if we click on it and we have our report designer installed, we can open up the report. And Acumatica will spawn the report designer, the Acumatica report designer. And if we go into File, Build Schema, and if you've never been into the report designer before, you can see our video on the basics of setting up a report and modifying it. But you can see the tables from the generic inquiry are here, and so are the joins. And now what you can do is you can go into your fields column over here on the right, and you could find the fields that you're looking for. So let's say we want the account ID. We'll put it in the details section. We want the account name. Maybe we want to make this a little bit smaller. And maybe the address. So address line one. City. and state. So now we'll save this. We'll give it a report name. Ordinarily we would give this a header and a footer. Now if we go back to Acumatica, we come into the site map we add it and then let's say we want to put this under payables under reports and audit so we'll add a line here we'll just use the numbering sequence that's there so vendor summary is 6550 and we'll put 10 after it. We'll use the same URL here, but we'll select our report this time. So now that we've saved this sitemap entry, we can put it in the clipboard in case we want to put it into the URL. But if we go to Payables and then go into Edit the Menu, we can add the menu item, search for our vendor list, add it here. Now it's added it to the other, but we'll move it over to Reports. We'll turn off our menu editing and then run it. And there's our report, which needs a lot of formatting. But that's it. If you have any questions, at the end of our video is our contact information. Please reach out to us with any questions you might have. Thanks again.